Welcome everybody, I am in Blender 4.1 Alpha. And we have a problem. The problem is, when you come over here, and just following my Q menu from 4.0.2, if I try to shade smooth, we get this garbage. And we get to keep sharp edges and some iteration count that is absolutely meaningless. And to make that look good again, I've got to go back to shade flat, or jump over here and throw in a weighted normal with keep sharp and so that's a pain in the butt and moving forward the blender compatibility like all the add-ons that have the auto smooth behind it aren't going to work anymore except mine will because i just upgraded them so here's what i did i went over and i made an add-on i call it uh, auto smooth that's it there's going to be a couple things in here it's documentation. This is actually going to take you over to uh, Blender Market and just show you my add-ons. And then if you click this little button for Mirror Machine and Heart Service Toolbox, yeah, I'm definitely going to try to sell you guys on that because you need it. The Mirror Machine uh, add-on is like insane. So what does this do? If you just right-click, I put it in the right-click context menu as well, you'll see that it now adds the Geometry Nodes Auto Smooth group that is natively going to be in Blender 4.1, but instead of trying to go find this every single time, or, oh, I wanna do this and pull this up and make this a GeoNodes thing, and then I wanna do this and make it a tool, or I wanna do this, and I wanna keep pulling it up, it's really tedious. I don't like all that. If you guys wanna do it old school rudimentary, you're welcome to, but you can pick this add-on up absolutely free. So if I go to the object menu, I'm gonna see the same thing. So for your objects, just kinda of remember, object, this is where this is going to be. This would be another operator. If you don't use the right-click context menu, you can add that on. And I got to kill this first, get rid of that, because it is reading that specific node group behind there. So that's going to hold you up. So I'm kind of glad that happened. So add auto smooth operator. Boom, you get this in. Boom, you can check this out. I didn't make this, but you can go pick this up. I'm going to put it on Gumroad. So check the comments, you know, and leave that there. And if you guys have anything else you want to talk about, like, hey, I need something, let me know. I'll throw it in the add-on. I don't care. Uh, also, if I do a shade smooth by angle, you get this deal. Keep sharp edges. And then it makes everything sharp. That may not be ideal for you. So if you don't want that operator, you now have this one. Let me show you what it does real quick. If I grab an edge and pull it out. Do something like this, and we'll see this actually looks kind of good. And if we turn on our cavity, you know, we kind of see our edges, and cavity needs to be on for this so you can see what happens. So if you ignore sharp edges, turn that off, you'll now see all the bevel segments. This is just like an auto smooth. That's why they made it this way, because the devs are going to move over to all of this stuff. And so now that's your auto smooth, and you're welcome. So go pick this up free, rate it. For some reason, I think that just helps my visibility on Gumroad. Just rate it, give it five stars. If you give it four, I'm going to come find you. And if you made it this far in, then real quick, I'm going to demo out. And if you have the hard service toolbox, you uninstall this. You don't need it anymore because it's going to be in the hard service toolbox. And I've got it now. It's going to be called the mirror machine hard service toolbox pro blah 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 pull this up you'll have some things in here like a pie menu you can set there's a new feature called wireframe delay you can turn it on or off here and i'll show you that with the mirror machine setup so if i just kind of do something here and i will go ahead and do an apply do an all transform this is the pie menu this is the mirror machine you'll love this uh, so just so you can visually figure out what's going on here. I'm going to knock a hole in this thing with the Carver tool, which is standard inside of the hard service toolbox. If you click this, it turns it on. And so let's grab a top view. I want to cut a little circle in. Don't care too much where. Looks good. And so if you do this, you can mirror things very quickly, very easily. And if I want to mirror it to the other side, I can do that. And it's going to turn on wireframe real quick and then turn it off. So now also I've got the 
add smooth angle in here. So if I didn't have it on the mesh and I want to auto smooth from the pie menu, I can now auto smooth from the pie menu too. It just makes sense. And it's going to turn on the ignore sharp edges for you. And so I know that doesn't look too good with the bullion, but whatever, this is a demo. So what we do here is you can now throw the weighted normal on as well. You want to further clean things up. It's going to come on, keep sharp, and it's going to look great. And so you'll be able to do a lot of mirroring. And just to go over this, say, one more time with something maybe a little less beat up. Scale this down. I want to apply the angle. And this works front facing. So if you press one, you're going to start like modeling from the right to the left. And it, it doesn't matter. You can model from left to right. It, it works both ways. But I'll do this again. You can kind of see what's going on. And so this shade smooth thing, you're going to need to fix that. So boom, there you go. That fixes it. And that should be interactive. It's kind of interesting. Uh, because before when I was cutting with the carver tool, I'm curious now. I have to see. So I'll add the auto smooth geo nodes, then I'll cut it. It should dynamically update the auto smooth. Um, yeah, let's figure it out. I'm really curious here because that's always bugged me. But look at that, it dynamically updates it, and that's sick. So now with the auto smooth behind there, it dynamically updates it as you're adding bullion cuts and stuff. That is freaking great. So now if I want to mirror this over, I can do that and mirror it to the Y. And you don't have to click these, but you can just kind of get familiar with them. Z up, Z down, X negative, X positive, and then Y negative is just down here. So you can sling that. And then if you do uh, happen to have a chamfer or something, and I just throw a little champion here that's not looking great, but whatever. I can mirror that to the bottom. It turns on that wireframe for a second, which is super cool. And then if I want, I can mirror it to the backside as well. And all that very quickly so you can inspect your mesh. But that's it, guys. Go pick this thing up. It's 40% off right now. I raised that all the way till Friday. So see you guys in the next one.